yo welcome back to my channel it's your girl elda and you already know how we get down listen here if this is your first time tuning in please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell okay because i yes i welcome you with hugs kisses and love baby baby you already know once you hit that subscribe button you become part of the subby baby gang you already know and i officially call you cousin subby babies thank you for returning thank you for rocking with your girl and you know how we get down you guys we be like huh -uh. hello welcome back back hey back back hey back hey 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 i've been practicing i've been practicing i've been practicing ah 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 don't mind me y'all don't mind me but did y'all miss me y'all you miss me boo i miss you too so let's go ahead let me get y'all caught up okay let me get y'all caught up all right um i wore my same little scarf that i had when i opened up about depression um as somebody who loves jesus who is a minister of the gospel and you know who's always encouraging people and speaking life yes 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 your girl is dealing with depression okay and let me tell you remember i said in my last video i said i believe in jesus and i also believe in a therapist yes a therapist so i got my jesus you know I'm still rocking with Jesus and I did get a therapist um and so far it's been really good it's been really good it's been helping a lot um all jokes aside you see how I got serious like real quick like serious um but no it's it's definitely been helping a lot um and prior to me actually starting to go to a therapist um i you know one thing y'all y'all will notice about me is that i'm always going i'm i'm very observant and i like to pay attention to you know um small details big details i pay attention to everything so when i was um, so before I went to the therapist, um, I wanted to sit and actually, um, look, um, I paid attention to the trigger points, like what was taking place be like before I hit that down moment or, um, what conversation may I have, I may have been having, um, and what happens afterwards. So I became very aware of some trigger points and what got me there. And, you know, in the midst of, you know, dealing with being in transition as well, it, 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 it doesn't help. So, but since I've been going to my therapist, it's been, um, over a month now, I see her bi-weekly <laughs> because, uh, hunty, uh, it's not cheap so i see her bi-weekly for now but um even when i talk to her you know it um she definitely be dropping gems and you know asks me some questions that helps me to understand um what i'm going through or whatever the case is and she also advised that i paid attention that i pay attention to what is going on when i have those down moments um but recently i've been having um i would say it was about i think last month um those low moments was happening very 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 frequently and i found myself like every other day um either crying or having a whole a whole breakdown now mind you i'm already a water bag 
So, you know, if somebody surprised me with something or I'm, you know, happy for somebody or, you know, God come through for somebody or myself, like I'm automatically in tears. Um, but this time last month, it was when I said it was like bad, it was bad because I'll just be sitting there and then I will get through laughing because y'all know I'm a jokester and then you'll turn around and I'm like in dead tears. Um, so it was happening very frequently and I just I, I at one point I just really had to um, Cry out to God and just kind of release everything that you know that I would say that I was holding in um, Or and how I was feeling and whatnot because you know as a as a, a woman of God as a minister of the gospel it, it do get hard um, and I, I, I choose to be transparent with you guys because a lot of people have the misconception that ministers or, you know, pastors and, you know, people of these things don't go through things. And it's like, no, we do. Um, it's just difficult sometimes for pastors, apostles, bishops, deacons, and, you know, anybody in a leadership role. Um, majority of the time it is hard for them to um open up about it because they when you have a passion to serve you have a passion to serve so you're just automatically going to put your feelings aside and and tend to the sheep and tend to the body and tend to that person who um who is in need so listen nugget nugget pray for your pastors pray for your deacons pray for your bishops pray for your apostles pray for your ministers whoever is um pray for your covering um intercede for them as they pray and intercede for you please make sure that you pray and intercede for them because um before the title but before the title before or whatever title it is in their respectable places before that they're human too they go through it just like you do um some are verbal about it some are not so make sure that you are praying for them as well and covering them as they cover you but anyways so um so yeah you know um so it was just like it was just like really bad and i just was like you know what let me tell you something at the end of the day it's a choice you can choose to stay in that funk um, or you can, you can get up and do something about it. And let me tell you something. I let my emotions run because I don't want to suppress it. And then I'm like a ticking bomb. So I cry and I, and I release it. But however, best believe your girl is getting back up and I'm going to affirm, I'm going to decree and I'm going to declare, I'm going to, you know, do what I need to do to get me out of that state. Whether it's, um, you know, I go, I do a little light beat, throw on my wig or, you know, straighten my hair or throw my hair in a ponytail, high bun, like, and, and get dressed up and just go to the beach. I do what I need to do so that I don't stay in that place. Um, because staying in that place is not helpful. And let me tell y'all, I was in bed for like a whole week. Okay. Like I wake up took my daughter to school, I would shower, I would eat, and then I was right back in bed to the point that I was sleeping all day. And the, my crush, <laughs> my crush literally would be like, okay, you know what, you've been sleeping way too much and you're not being productive. So that's when he began to realize like, yo, you're slipping um, back into, you're slipping into that state of depression and you know so he would affirm me he would encourage me and push me and so forth so do what makes you happy when you're dealing with depression don't stay there i know it's hard i know it's hard especially when there's nobody to call you or nobody to affirm you nobody to encourage you um sometimes you wonder if you know like like dang you you don't see my pain sometimes i wish you wish that somebody could look in your eyes and see your story and just be able to pick it up but you know what at the end of the day sometimes some people are going to be in tune with it and sometimes they're not but i want to encourage you um whether you're dealing with depression silently whether you do um whether you've opened up about it or whether you have a support system or you don't but i want you i do not want you to stay in that place so i want you to get up when you at the the very moment you feel that 
the very moment you start feeling any type of way i need you to get up and i need you to rebuke those thoughts i need you to cast it down i need you to speak life over yourself i want you to affirm yourself um it's hard at first especially if you don't believe it but just keep repeating it and do what you have to do throw on some music and dance um do yourself up you know self-love self-care get out go for a walk go for ice cream do something that makes you happy so that you do not stay in that place and one thing you would know about me your girl i love affirmations i love affirmations and you know you can go in the description box i have a few affirmations that i speak over myself when i am feeling that way so um yeah yeah so I'm going to share my affirmation lists with you and I and I pray that it helps you. Um but I'm doing better. I'm doing better. My um next therapy session is Friday. So I'm excited for that. Um you know, I feel like I have more of a balance to God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. Yes, God. But um yeah, so I'm doing much better and um that's the update guys that's the update i will continue you know to keep you guys posted um it's just not something you get um over overnight though i would i wish that we could you know just snap your fingers and we're out of it but it's a fight and you also have to keep in mind that um that's what the enemy wants the enemy wants you to stay in a in a dark place because he doesn't want you to tap into that dopeness um he doesn't want you to tap into that greatness he doesn't want you to know your true identity because he knows that not only would you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness but anybody else attached to your loins will also be set free because once you once you know how it is to be free you're you're definitely going to go back and help your loved ones friends family children or set in motion to break the generational curses so i need you to get up i need you to be great i need you to tap into it and don't stay at that place so but yeah can i pray for you can't can I can I pray for you? Yeah, you gonna I can pray for you. Okay. All right. But let us go ahead. I'm just gonna do a quick prayer. I love praying, but um, you already know. <laughs> Lord, Father, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just give you the glory and the honor, Lord God, for you are King of kings and Lord of lords, and there is none like you. Lord, Father, God, forgive us of our sins, oh God. Forgive us for every deed, action, thought, motive, intention, speech, language, omission, commission. Forgive us where we have fell short. Forgive us where we have sinned against you and you alone. And Lord, Father, God, right now, Lord, Father, God, I just bring my cousin who is tuned in with us uh via youtube lord father god lord father god right now i just thank you for placing your joy within them lord father god lord father god right now lord father god i just thank you for your peace overtaking them oh god lord father god i summon the angels to be encamped in their atmosphere lord father god creating an atmosphere of peace creating an atmosphere of love creating an atmosphere of liberty oh father god lord father god you said that we have the ability to call these things that be not as though they were so lord father god right now in the mighty name of jesus oh father god i just thank you for my cousin being set free oh father god i thank you for their breakthrough oh god i thank you for their deliverance oh father god i thank you for their elevation i thank you for their increase i thank you for their healing oh father god lord father god now lord father god i just decree and declare that your anointing oh god that your presence oh god would just permeate right now lord father god and keep them oh god sustain them lord father god comfort them oh father god be their shield oh god be their refuge oh god be their strength oh father god i thank you for endurance i thank you for stamina lord father god lord father god let them arise oh father god we call on the might of jesus now oh father god 
And Lord Father God, restore to them the joy, Lord Father God. Restore to them your joy, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. But I thank you for keeping my cousin. I plead the blood of Jesus over them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord Father God. And though I'm not able to wrap my arms around them, oh God, but Lord Father God, through the under the sound of my voice, oh Father God, Lord Father God, we're being released, whether it's through their phone, oh Lord Father God, or through their TV, oh Father God. But just allow, Lord Father God, the anointing that is upon my voice, oh Father God, to consume them, Lord Father God, to sustain them, oh God, to wrap them, oh Father God, and give them such a comfort that they are seeking, oh God. But I bless you, oh Father God. I love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, Lord God. And we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. But I love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Hey, listen, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? Make sure you turn on all notifications. Make sure you follow me on all platforms, okay? Because it only gets greater from here. It only gets greater from here. You guys, I need to get to a thousand subscribers. So tell your cousin, 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 and the dog to make sure that they do subscribe, okay? Don't judge me. Judge your big toe. Praise the Lord, somebody. But I love you. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember, you, baby, baby, have victory on every side.